Hello everyone and welcome back to a new review for Classroom of the Elite Episode 9. And good lord, this was this was a good episode. It wasn't the best, it wasn't up to what we had seen in many other episodes that aired previously. But in this one it made me once again so curious about the entire system about Especially the protagonist, if he is going like, this was just all according to my plans. Or, well, if he may or may not turn into a villain or an anti-hero to go up to class A. I don't know, but to be honest, this episode we had so many things we had. The kids arriving on the island for the survival training. They were going, they had to locate those spots and they would get points for each spot. And only those who occupied one of those spots were able to stay there. So if class D has a spot, the other classes can't go just there and do the camping and class D find they found a nice spot on a river and it's really interesting how they did it how they got to the spot because they had to get a leader and only the leader with a special card can occupy one of those spots and they surrounded the leader, which was Suzume. They chose her because the other ones, Hirata and Kuroigawa, his girlfriend, they are, well, they are getting way too much attention and it would be way too obvious if these are the leaders. And it really was nice to see Suzume becoming the leader because she didn't do anything so far in this episode and simply because she said she couldn't do it and the way Aino Koji is and the way he is saying things and get kind of people to move it's really funny also one of class C I think her name was Ibuki from last week who got into a fight with Ryuen, she, well, was apparently beaten up and left there. The thing is, is she going to become a traitor for class C or was she beaten up so that another class will find her and, well, then they she will find out who is the leader so she can tell it to their leader so they can at the end get the bonus points because they will have a role and yeah they have to choose or guess who the leader is if they are correct they will get points if they are not correct well they will lose points high risk high return quoted the classroom teacher and yes it's it really makes me wonder what the hell is with her or, well, maybe this was something they did because Class D took her in and it was, well, yeah, they could have left her alone, but maybe, just maybe, they will get bonus points for helping students from another class. Or... Because you can't do anything, you can't fool around with the other classes because you would get bonus points, you can't ignore them, you can't do all these things, sabotage them. And yeah, the only way to lose actually points is either by bleeding the surroundings or, well, getting ill and dropping out of the test. Which apparently happened in this episode. It was Quinji, the it's so beautiful guy, who is seriously eccentric, but he was running around with 
I had no Koji and Sakura and he was running ahead and then at the end they got the announcement well he dropped out. He was not feeling well and he has to rest on the ship for the time being. The thing is the way he climbed up the big chain of the anchor he was not at all sick he just dropped out and now it's my question did he drop out because he simply didn't want to continue that and he wanted just to lay around and do all the spa things for his beauty or and now I think I know it sounds kinda like an ass pull, like from far away far stretch but what if what if it was all according to Ayano Koji's plan for some reason having Quenji dropping out. I don't know why. And apparently there was also something because of the leader and we had the bald guy from I think it was class A. He was coming out of a cave with another classmate and he held the card and they occupied that spot. The thing is he pointed out that well they circled the island and he was able to see the paths and make out the shortest way to a spot. And the thing is, well, maybe he is the leader, but I, well, maybe don't really think so just because he was holding the card. Maybe being a leader and having a card holder may work as well. So I'm not really sure how they are going to do it, but I'm really curious to see where this is going and I also wonder if anyone else will drop out. And yeah, on a side note with those points, they can buy things like a toilet or s things like this, but there's this something that kinda bugs me and it's basically the more points the class get, you will take over another class. So class D may become class E and class C will go down to class D. But the thing is, what if you get enough points that you may buy your way up into class, uh, an higher class on your own? So that not the entire class will move up, but just a single person because they have enough points. I wonder if it is possible. It would be really really funny and I also wonder how they would do it. Would then the person with the lowest points from that class will well go down a class? I don't know but it's just something I thought about and it sounds plausible and I wouldn't even be surprised if the writer would go for it or would pull something like this off. And also the thing with Ibuki. Yeah, I'm really curious and it was really a, a good episode. So yeah, can't wait for episode number 10 next week. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I hope I will see you guys next time as well. Till then, have a great time. Adiós.